All right, this video is um, to go over this great song, Bhajan, that George Harrison did. It's called the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And it's, uh, it was one of those songs actually that helped to put Kirtan on the map in the, um, you know, the Western world's consciousness. It's a practice from India <clears throat> that is part of the Bhakti Yoga tradition. And uh, it goes way back. I, I'm not going to go into the history of it, um, but this mantra is called the Maha Mantra, the Great Mantra, and it is the um, the most important mantra in in, in the Hare Krishna tradition. Um, again, and also I I'm not going to go into that either. I'm not I'm not really qualified to to go into that. I'm just going to um, help those of you who might want to learn a very simple um, kirtan song that's fun to play and that uh, you know, play with your friends and, and your bhakti cohorts, whoever they might be. So I'm gonna write the, I'm gonna write the mantra uh, on here. It's a very simple mantra, you probably already know it. Um, and I'm gonna just give you some possibilities for what you might do. I mean, there's, there's so many things you could do with this. It's very, it's three chords, that's all. No, and I'm playing it with a capo, sorry, I'm playing it, I'm sorry, capo on the first fret, because it's um, the the version that is on YouTube, and I'll, I'll put the link, is is um, is a flat, is flatted, so I, I put the capo, out. maybe that's how they, they did it originally, as they, um, they did it like a, a half step down. Here we go. Starts in, starts in G, but G sharp really because of the capo. And then it goes to C. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. That the that the lead singer in the in the George Harrison version I don't know who that is um, it's probably on the video that you can look at um, but the lead singer goes Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama it back, they don't sing Hare Krishna, they sing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Now, I was going to give you some ideas, you know, when you play this song, um, you can speed it up, like you get faster. Maybe slowly build it, build it, build it up, both the um, you know dynamically with the sound and also with the rhythm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Double, double time the uh, the vocal, the the mantra itself. So like, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
cool way to um, also have a little percussion in there. You could also um, start with a, a call and response, which is what is done on the on the track, the George Harrison track. But then you can have everyone sing together, which could be nice too. Bring it down, and eventually you're gonna maybe bring it down to. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. on the track they, they use the harmonium as opposed to a guitar. There might be a guitar in there, but uh, it's mainly harmonium. So it, it might be nice to combine you know, the, uh, the guitar, the harmonium, percussion, and the voices, and whatever other instruments. Um, anyway, just three chords. It's very simple. You know, basically G, C, and D with the capo. That's all, all you need. And, um, it, you know, there you have it. it. It's, uh, it's a very fun song to do with a group of people. And, um, yeah, get high with a little help from your friends singing together. Um, and, uh, all you need is love. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Kirtan Classics. Thank you, George. Hari's son. <laughs> See ya.